Welcome back to the Roadside Rescue YouTube channel. I'm Ernest, and this morning we're gonna go do an EVAP leak detection pump on a 2004 Volkswagen Jetta. Um, it was previously diagnosed by a different shop who did a smoke test on it. Uh, I think it was like a Jiffy Lube even, but maybe, no, maybe I think Jiffy Lube couldn't do it and the dealership did. Anyways, I've been real busy with school the last semester. This is a customer I've had for about a year and a half. I just wasn't able to do the diagnosis for him. Um, I do have a smoke little test kit, but I never use it. So anyways, doing that kind of stuff is not my favorite. But anyways, it's been diagnosed by somebody else. The customer has the part, and we're going to head over there, get it replaced. Um, since he has been a customer forever, I haven't even given him a quote yet because I don't even know where it's at. So we're going to get over there and find it. I think it's probably under near the gas tank. Um, if not, it's probably up against the firewall, but we'll go over there and figure it out. Sometimes I don't even look stuff up like that. I've had this customer for a year and a half. He trusts me and I'm just going to bill him for how long it takes. So we'll head over there, get this replaced. All right, here we are with the vehicle. I actually just borrowed this cone from the little curb replacement here. Since I couldn't park all the way against the curb, I'm kind of out in the road and I threw my little gas can back here just because it's red, people see it. So uh, the EVAP leak detection pump, here's the new one. I think it's underneath. I don't see anything up in the engine bay that looks like it would be that. And uh, usually they're down by the fuel tank anyways. The door lock on this apparently just broke I'll show you what I mean it looks like it's clip came out or something basically you can just put this in here and spin it oh well now it's working now it's stuck in there now it's spinning in. yeah well it was kind of like spinning in yeah whole circle okay there you go so something's up with that I'm gonna see if I can figure it out for the guy so I'll probably pop this door panel off see if it now that I just did that, I'm not sure if it was the clip earlier. I thought it was probably that little retaining clip on it, but um, may still be that. We'll pop the door panel off and check it out before we head out. But I'm gonna get this jacked up safely and we'll take a peek under there and see if we can locate this leak detection pump, get it replaced real quick. All right, I've got this chalked up, jack same and a jack under there. Let's just take a peek real quick. Maybe under here. They're closer to that fuel tank. Let's see. All right, so it's like right here. So we're gonna take this wheel off in this little uh, fender liner here. Um, if this wheel isn't, yeah, I set the parking brake. If it wasn't set, you can only just kind of roll the wheel and pop it to loosen up the lug nuts. Like you roll it in one direction and pop back on it. This will do just fine. I was gonna say, I think these are those wheel bolts instead of nuts. I hate lining these back up. I don't know why some manufacturers ever decided that was a good idea. Oh well. What do we got, feed lockers on this? Looks like. Oh man, these are nasty. I don't know what's on this. Rust, I guess. Yeah, just rust. Pretty nasty though. Cool. Should be pretty, pretty quick little job. Okay, I'm gonna the dust shield a little harder than I was expecting. Make sure that's not touching now.
this is it right here. This is the little unit we're gonna replace. Pretty straightforward. Put a light on it for you. And uh, yeah, should come off pretty easy. Okay, I think all we have to do is just pull on it to get it to slide down. Just the way it's designed to slide right out of there. Basically, I think we just need to pull on this. All right, there we go. There's the old one. Here's the new one. So we'll get that put right back into place. get this wheel put on real quick I'll just meet you up by the front door up there and we'll check out that lock all right all right here we are with this door panel usually there's a few screws holding these door panels in I actually don't see any screws right off the bat so maybe it's all clips I don't see any screws here. Any like sometimes you'll see like a little cover that you have to pull off to get to a screw, but I don't see any. Well, that's interesting. Those aren't supposed to be like that. Those are just supposed to be clips, but uh, those are broken. So we'll have to unscrew those to get the door panel off. Other than that though, that's it. Got a little T25 or something. Let's see. these off real quick. These are tire popper screws. Don't want to lose any of those on the road. three bigger screws right here so we'll get those off yeah sometimes you have to pull the handle out it didn't look like that would be the case but it totally makes sense that's where all these screws usually are to hold the again so you don't yank the door panel off when you try and close the door and, uh, There we 
go. Now that should slide just out, up and out. Like so. Okay. Oh wow. That's very interesting. I don't think I've ever seen a metal. Well, that makes sense. This is the window regulators attached to this. So to do that door handle, I'm just gonna get a better look at it here. I should be able to get a good look at it, but it probably needs to have that whole handle replaced is what I'm thinking. There's a little door to look through here. And I should be able to kind of see what's going on in there. You can see that door and over here. And on this vehicle, it may be real easy to remove the door handle. On some vehicles, all you have to do is undo a screw right there. But I'm guessing that's what needs to be done. I probably didn't even have to do that. Let's see. Okay, well, I can actually just see right through this little slot here. Right through here that it's got its clip and everything it's something inside the lock that's broken itself so the whole tumbler is gonna have to be removed you know the whole core right here and uh, we're gonna have to take that into a locksmith and have them fix it so I'll just let the customer know that's just gonna be a diagnosis right there but I was able to see everything's uh, attached in the clips in place everything how it's supposed to be and this is just spinning too much so something inside of it's broken we'll go ahead and We'll go ahead and put this back together. All right, well, there you have it. That's a job well done. Thanks for watching. Interesting little job there. Um, kind of a super weird little place to find that uh, EVAP stuff. But uh, we got it taken care of, that door lock. Yeah, something inside that uh, core's just messed up. It's just allowing it to free spin. And probably some of the tumblers or the pins or something fell out. So it's not really catching, you know, to unlock or anything like that. So uh, that's a, for a different day, quite a good little job. I think it's gonna be to get down because we're gonna have to take that door panel off with the regulator built in and everything. So I'll, I'll give the customer a quote, but I don't think we're gonna be doing that anytime soon. He's actually just about to move. So we may never be the ones to do that. But anyways, uh, pretty interesting job well done and a little diagnosis there. And thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next episode. Consider subscribing. Check out the tools in the description if you're interested what I was using and the merch down below and I'll see you on the next episode.